Hello, my fellow graduates. I'm extremely humbled and honored to be representing the special class of 2020 graduates and have this opportunity to speak to you today. What a time to graduate and what a way to deliver this speech without even being able to see you all. I know most of us are disappointed because our much anticipated July graduation ceremony had to be canceled due to the COVID-19. However, we still have so much to celebrate by reaching this far. The journeys of each of today's graduates may have been individual and unique, but I believe many of us have shared similar experiences and feelings. I can confidently speak on behalf of my fellow graduates in saying that today's achievements bring immense feelings of joy, pride, and huge accomplishments. Yet at the same time, we are gripped with fear and uncertainties during this tough time of the pandemic. Like many of my fellow graduates with university has come lots of sacrifices, be it living far away from home or foregoing work, social, life or family commitments in order to feed our learning appetite at Griffith University. All these challenges have brought us together, regardless of our backgrounds, to celebrate this unique achievement today. This time for me two years ago, I made the bold decision to leave my family, work and home country which is Kenya in East Africa, to relocate to Brisbane and start a new life and make new memories. I did not know anyone and had to start from scratch. Was it easy? No, not at all. Has it been worthwhile? Absolutely. Here I was in a new country, so far away from home, new culture, new food, new friends, new everything. I was startled. I even cried a couple of times, but at the same time excited and ready to tackle this new adventure. Like all of us graduating today, I put one foot in front of the other and gradually tackled one day, one challenge, one assessment at a time. Griffith University gave me a chance to reinvent myself as I dived and explored the many learning opportunities it gave me and made me meet amazing people and friends along the way. As I'm talking to you today, I can assure you that I'm not the same girl I arrived in Brisbane two years ago. I have grown profoundly, both professionally and personally. To my fellow graduates, I can confidently say that we are special indeed. Special because not only have we acquired education skills, but very critical life skills that will continuously help us to maneuver life in these uncertain times. Special because we have recreated the world that we live in. Special because we have come as one, regardless of our backgrounds, to tell our unique stories that will shape future generations. We are special for so many reasons, and when we continue to shine this special light, as you go out there and face the world. To the academic staff, support staff, and administration of Griffith University, I would like to offer sincere gratitude from my graduating cohort. We appreciate your effortless dedication and passion as you all supported us in this journey, and especially during this period of the pandemic, as you ensured we still have a smooth learning process, irregardless of the tough and uncertain times. And last, but not definitely the least, to our family and our dear friends of today's graduates, where would we be without you? Thank you for offering that shoulder to cry on and those constant words of encouragement, especially for those of you who are far away from us. I want to sincerely thank my parents for always believing in me and I hope that I can continually make you proud. Once again, graduates, a massive congratulations on your amazing feat. As the legendary Nelson Mandela once said, Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. We came, we saw, and we definitely conquered. Let's keep soaring high and remember, your dreams are not only valid, but achievable. This is just but the beginning. Thank you.